in this is like, the first look of in like 17 years, I think. <laughs> no, 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 we, we're, I, I hope we're gonna shoot next year with Pola and Vikas and, and the older team, sorry, man, I don't remember your name. So, uh, everybody needs to finish the work and you, I know that you're working right now and we're gonna work this week on the movie and then we're gonna keep working, so there's no, there's no due date for now, but the fact is we wanna do it together and we will do it together, I hope, next year. If Phantom and Reliance can find the found. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just, uh, no, I'm really happy of this project and I think it's something that can build and consolidate a, a real link between French movie business, which I'm part of, and Bollywood. Because there is a lot of, ex I mean, here you dream a lot about France and in France we dream a lot about India. So I think we need to create that link and I hope the interpreter will come consolidate this link and will be a huge success either in France and in India. And you know, I must say this, that France tourism should be really, really, really thankful to Vikas and the movies that he makes because after Queen, everyone wanted to go to Paris for their honeymoon. Every single time. Even me, I wanted to alone. go to Paris. <laughs> want to go to Paris. For my honeymoon. The only difference is they wanted to go alone. Just by themselves. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, can we have a huge round of applause for Kev Adams, please? Thank you. Okay. Oh, I, I have a final word. Yes, all right, please. We are going to take questions from the media, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tane. May apse bohot piar kartahu. All good? Awesome. How cute is that? That's adorable. It we read up something about you on the internet, we find out, find out how big of a star you are in France, and not just um, in movies, on social media, and everything, everything included. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, you've been doing this since the age of nine? Is that correct? Uh, yeah, actually, no. I, I, I just did a movie when I was nine, and yeah, well, it's one of the reasons I felt in. Like, I, I just loved the experience, but I was a small part in a small movie in France, and I was nine years old, so I did like two days of shooting in this movie, and then I really appreciated it, so I was like, that's the job I want to make. And then after I, I started on stand-up, I started making jokes on stage when I was 16, and then my first movie was around 18. And you're 25. I'm 25, yes. I'm old now. No, he's not. He's the youngest person in this room right now. Can you? <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so before we open to the media, I'd like to call back up on stage Mr. Madhu Mantena. Madhu, in the audience, where I should be. How does it feel like, I mean, of course, first, how does it feel like to be here? To be here? Yeah. How does it feel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a French answer or an Indian nod? <laughs> it's an Indian answer. Actually, I just love being here. It's amazing how, how the culture is rich. I mean, I see how people, how, how, wants to welcome you. It's sad what I'm gonna say, but it's true. When you go in Paris or in France, it's hard to meet someone in the street who's gonna tell you, do you need help? It's hard. Here, it's pretty easy. I mean, you can walk in Mumbai street and if you have any problem, then you can find help. I mean, there's a real humanity here that maybe we lost a little bit in France. And I love walking here because this is a city growing up. In Paris, it's beautiful. But man, it's over. I mean, they finished the building like a long time ago. Here, you can see, I mean, this bridge I saw in Mumbai over the sea. <laughs> they told me it took 20 years to build. But anyway, I mean, it's beautiful. And the people are as much beautiful as this bridge. I, 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 I ha I'm living a great, great experience, really, really uh, amazing. And I'm saying to all my friends in France, you should come to Mumbai. There's great, great clubs and great girls. Kev, Kev uh, you said you, you saw Vikas Bell's Queen. Yes. Uh, did you like the actress? Because Kangna Ranawat, the, the, the actress who was in the film, she's a very huge actress here. Did you like her performance? Any of the films that you saw from you, Hollywood? You talk about Kangana Ranawat? Yeah. yeah. Of course I know her. I'm a huge fan. She's, she's amazing in the movie. And Vikas explained to me a little bit the work and Tanvi told me something amazing about her. Uh, Tanvi who works with Phantom, she told me when I saw her out of the airport in Paris, she was natural and easy, you know? And then when she was on the shooting, she was this shy character that you can see in Queen. And I think it's a great, great work of acting she made in Queen, with the help of Vikas, who's a great director, of course. But I know that she's big here, and uh, I can't wait to meet her, really. Uh, yeah, that, that lady right there. 
So talking about Kangana, uh, is there any chance that I, yeah, I'm right here. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, hi. So uh, welcome, first of all. Hello. So, hi, hi. <laughs> so uh, obviously talking about Kangana, she's one of our best, so to speak. But who's going to be the leading lady in this project? Can you all share anything on that? I'm not the director at all. But I think it's going to be like Nicole Kidman. <laughs> yes, she's Indian. Nicole Kidman from Amritsar. <laughs> no, she's going to... Uh, I know that, that Vikas wants to uh, um, be Bollywood actress, but we, we talked about several names, and I don't know, maybe you want to talk about it? I think, I think we wanted to just confirm the big actor first, and I think that will be the next day. So I hope, hopefully in the next couple of months we should know. There's going to be another party <laughs> with another stage. I won't be here anymore. There, there will be like a lot of journalists, and then the, the, the actress will come in, and she'll be like, you know me, I'm a huge star here. And everybody will be like, yeah, we know you. <laughs> when you can have two parties, why have one? <laughs> exactly. exactly. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, yeah. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. So, who's your Bollywood uh, favorite actor? My Bollywood favorite actor? Yeah. Uh, actually, I haven't seen a lot of movies. So for now, it's Ken Ganarano. Because <laughs> I saw her in Queen, I, I think she was... Amazing, and I, I want to see this movie. Just, just came. We, we just came out uh, about about France. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see it. Yes, exactly. I cannot pronounce this word. I'm sorry, but. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna check this because it's important. I mean, it's again about this link we want to create between India and France through movies, and I think it it, it could be amazing because when I see. Uh, no, what's the name? What's the name of the actress I talked to you uh, earlier? Alia. 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 What? Alia. Alia Bhatt. Everyone loves Alia. Oh. Alia Bhatt. Pas mal, hein? Pas mal means uh, 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 in uh, French. In French. No, Alia Bhatt. She's really beautiful. And thanks to uh, my my friends who are here, Tani and uh, Parina, they explained to me a lot of a uh, uh, lot of a uh, lot about Bollywood and who were the, the most uh, uh, famous actors and all. And then I saw on Twitter and Instagram how followed are the biggest actor here. It's completely crazy. But in France, nobody knows them. And here, nobody knows about the French culture and the French movies. And right now, I think it's important for us to, to try to sell word and to send movies all over the world. And to send movies all over the world, we gotta be connected. And it's going to happen thanks to those kind of movies, I hope. So I can't wait to know more about Bollywood actors. But I know Ali Abad, I know Kangana Rano, and uh, I know uh, another guy, uh, who's, which is crazy, uh, Amita Bachan. Yes. Amita, yeah, it's, that's yeah. it. And this is crazy. The guy is the fucking Pope. He goes out from his house and he's like, <laughs> he, he does like this. I mean, I really respect that no one, there's no actors I mean, I, sometimes there's girls waiting in front of my house, but they're like four, you know? <laughs> if I go out and I do this, they're gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing? Man? You know what I mean? So, this is impressive. When you're a big star in India, like one seven of the world population is following you already. So you don't care about any other I know, that's, that's, what, that's what is crazy. But I, when I saw those, those images with a lot of people and him with the glasses, like this. I loved it. It's beautiful. And he does it week after week, every week. Yeah. Every week. How, how is his schedule to, to this guy? It's, it's really, he's really I don't busy. know, but somehow his fans are so important to him. Mr. Bachchan makes time to meet them every Sunday evening. Okay, and there's another guy just next to my hotel. There is a Salman Khan. Salman Khan. Salman Khan, Salman Khan and Sal Shah Rukh Khan. They're all there. And Shah Rukh Khan. Hotel is Shah Rukh Khan. Yes. yes. Salman Khan, Shah Rukh Khan, and Kev Alu, right there. Woohoo! Actually, you can call me Kev Khan, it'll go faster. <laughs> Alright, more questions for Mr. Kev okay. Khan. Yes, so. Uh, because I have a question for you. Uh, okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, can you tell us something more about this collaboration between Phantom Films and, and the French? The French? What exactly is it all about? I mean, is it, is it going to be shot over here or French? Will it have any connections over there? Uh, tell us something more about this. It's about making movies. It's find good stories and make movies. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Yeah, I mean, uh, still we're still in the process of finalizing the script, but it looks like we might be shooting here as well as in France. And I think it will be a co-production. And since we've got the biggest star, biggest star from there, 
and hopefully we'll have a good star from India. I think it will probably be the first time that all of it comes together, whether it's from writing, which is happening, all us from Canada, Saran's from uh, Panjgani, <laughs> I'm from Delhi, he's from France. So I think it's truly a collaboration coming together, whether it's the writing, whether it's the actors, whether it's the production. So in this, in, it's, a, it's a collaboration in the truest sense possible. It's not just going to another country and shooting your film and getting funds from there. So usually I've seen there are part collaborations that happen, but I think this, starting from the story, it's collaboration in the truest sense. So we hope to see it through like that till the end. The, the, real, the real changement uh, between what you saw before and what we're going to do now is that now when they show the movie like Be Fikre or like Queen, they too, they take uh, most of the part Indian actors and they go in France and they shot Indian actors in a, in a French um, uh, background. You see what I mean? When we do the same in France. There is a movie called One Plus One directed by Claude Lelouch, which is one of the best directors we have in France. He came to India with two of the biggest French actors, Jean Jardin, who won the Oscar for The Artist, and another actress, Elsa Zidbostein, they came in India, they shot for four months. And there is maybe one or two little part for Indian actors, and that's sad. So, of course, we're gonna co I have a, a co production company in France, and if I can help them for the, the interpreter, the movie we're gonna make, of course I'm gonna do it. But it's not new. On number one, on, on To The Top, the movie you just saw, the trailer, it's already a co-production between my family, my, my production company, and Reliance and Phantom. So this is already existing. The real new thing is to put famous French actors and famous Bollywood actors together and to show to the French culture that there is a beautiful culture to discover in India and to show to Indian culture that there is a beautiful actor to discover in France. <laughs> Here, here. Do we have more questions? Yes, the gentleman right here. Um, so, Vikas, uh, the films you have been uh, making so far that uh, revolves around the Indian family, the Indian culture. So, and this time we just take Eve, uh, uh, since he's a uh, French actor, I mean, so he's international. So, this uh, movie will be on the international aspects of Indian cultures. It, it is about two families meeting, it is about two cultures meeting and how they deal with each other, but primarily it is about the language. It is the language which enables and disables you at the same time. And how it can, you can use it to your advantage and how it can totally go wrong for you. So it's much more based about the language than about families or the culture in this case. Uh, Shivashish, I have a question for you. Um, when you do a collaboration like this, either India and there's France, how difficult or easy it is logistically to make something like this happen with the government? Do the governments get involved? The, the film industry there? Is it easy to collaborate? Uh, do tell us. I think it is uh, more about uh, intent in the situation. Uh, from Reliance's perspective, almost last 10 years, uh, we have been doing uh, films across the globe. We have done like three months. Uh, we have done uh, films with Pathé. We have done films with uh, various international production houses. And, uh, so yes, it, it requires a lot of <coughs> relationships and corruption. You need to get government permissions, uh, regulatory issues, uh, whether the payments are happening in India, whether the payments are happening globally, uh, foreign exchange laws. So everything is false in place. But when the intent is correct uh, and the intent is uh, true, I, I think those are all part of the journey. Do you open with a DVD of Queen? Decision लियो। हाँ। तो उस decision से पूरा विश्व जो है भारत की ओर आकर्षित होगा। अब पूरा विश्व पूरी दुनिया ये देख रही है कि भारत एक बहुत बड़ा बाजार है और इस बाजार में मुझे अपना ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा सामान दीजिए। तो ऐसी स्थिति में ये फ्रांस के साथ जो फिल्म का अनुबंध होगा जो आप करने जा रहे कितना परसेंटेज इसका मार्केट होगा और कितने लोग इससे प्रभावित हो सकते हैं? I think um, <laughs> यही है। 
फिल्म बना रहे हैं अच्छे फिल्म बनाने के लिए ट्राई करेंगे अगर मुझे व्यापार नहीं है कुछ नहीं है फिल्म बना रहे हैं बस अगर जो अच्छे लोग मिल गए तो अच्छे फिल्म बनाएंगे आप 